वेलकम टू माई चैनल केमिस्ट्री नॉट मिस्ट्री यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट टू माई वेबसाइट केमिस्ट्री नॉट मिस्ट्री डॉट कॉम टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्लांग्स क्वांटम थ्योरी प्लांग सजेस्ट दैट द एटम एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स कुड एमिट और एब्सॉर्ब एनर्जी ओनली इन डिस्क्रीट क्वांटिटीज नॉट इन अ कंटिन्यूस मैनर लेट्स सिंप्लीफाई इट विद एन एग्जाम्पल when we speak we use words to frame a sentence we cannot speak in a continuous manner even if we speak fluently continuous manner is like a but we cannot speak like this similarly energy is also not available in continuous manner the energy we receive from sun is also not in the form of continuous stream of energy it consists of small small energy packets you can compare it with the rain in rain in the rain we get water in the form of small droplets not in the form of continuous stream of water plan gave the name quantum to the smallest quantity of energy that can be emitted or absorbed by an atom or molecule Quantum is the smallest energy packet like drop is the smallest quantity of water Quantum is singular while quanta is used for plural Energy is not continuous it consists of small packets or quantum of energies So how much energy does a quantum has The energy of a quantum of radiation is proportional to its frequency nu e is directly proportional to nu when we remove the sign of proportionality we get a proportionality constant e is equal to h nu here proportionality constant h is known as planck's constant and its value is 6.623 into 10 days to minus 34 joule second Now you can understand why UV rays are harmful to us. Frequency of UV is more than that of visible light. That's why its energy is also more than that of visible light. In the coming video, I will explain the black body radiation that shows the particle nature of electromagnetic radiations. If you have any doubt regarding this video, you can post in the comment box. and don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thanks for watching